Hi everyone. This week I'm going to read you another book by David Pelham, but it's actually in the shape of a hamburger. It's called The Sensational Sam Burger. And we all know what kind of burgers and sandwiches Sam likes to make, so you can already guess it's not going to be a burger you would like to eat. That picnic thief is such a pain, Samantha sobbed. He's struck again. She looked at Sam, eyes red and swollen. My hamburger has just been stolen. A teardrop trickled down her cheek. And that's the second one this week. Her brother frowned in disbelief. We'll get back at your burger thief. Cheer up, sis. This could be fun. First we need a nice big bun. We'll fill it with the world's worst meal, then leave it for the thief to steal. First, Sam cut the bun in two. He's cut it in half, hasn't he? I think we'll start with Mum's shampoo. I've often thought in many ways it looks like homemade mayonnaise. Sis groaned ooh, and turned a little pale as Sam dropped in a slimy, wait for it, <laughs> snail. It's really good, the book, because when you lift it up, it has pop-up creatures. A burger isn't worth a nickel if it doesn't come with pickle. A fancy candle through a slicer. Ten pickle rings? What could be nicer? Do you like the pickle on your burger? I do. And Sis has found a real spine chiller. A great big juicy caterpillar. <sighs> Samantha gave a wicked grin. Let's see what's in the kitchen bin. She found an old egg deep inside, soft and cold and lightly fried. Now Sam slipped out and on the wallies found some nasty, creepy crawlies. Ooh. <laughs> Sam's busy cutting cavities inside some soap that looks like cheese. Oh, that soap is not really cheese. I know just what we need, Sis said, and skipped off to the garden shed. Dad's fishing friends are the McTaggarts. For bait, they all use big, fat Look at those maggots. Ah, oh, maggots in my jeans. What can we use for ketchup, sis? I've got it here, Sam. Look at this. Her poster paint, the red of course, looks rather like tomato sauce. They watched a ghastly thing approach and popped it in. A huge cockroach. Oh, look out, he's jumping at you. Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm glad I'm not that burger thief, Samantha grinned, because here's the beef. Cat food. Yuck. Well, just a slice. And maybe mustard would be nice. Oh no, it's cat food. Got a little treat. Speaking of pets, for Bertie. So we might give him that in a little while. And like Miss Muffet, there beside her, Sis had seen a great big. Oh, look at him! Spider! Oh, he's big. Look at his eyes. I'm watching you. Sis scratched her head. 
Where can we get us something green that looks like lettuce? Sam rummaged through the kitchen grunge and found a thrown out wash up sponge. And it looks a bit like lettuce, doesn't it? Poor sis. Sam watched her writhe and squirm while wrestling with a giant worm. Well, this one's there straight away, look. And now some onions, just for fun. Sam put the top back on the bun and rubbed his hands. Oh boy, oh boy, it looks just like the real McCoy. Samantha smiled. That's pretty neat. It sure looks good enough to eat. Would you eat it? Oh, no, me neither. They put the burger on a plate and settled down to watch and wait. But then Mum called them for a snack. The bun had gone when they got back. That thief will be so sick. Sam smirked. Sick as a dog, our plan has worked. Meanwhile, not too far away, Rex mused another perfect day. He licked some shampoo off his paw. I like that little girl next door. Oh no. Look who's been eating the burgers. It's Rex. Next door's pet. Ooh. She leaves me food. She's such a pet. That burger was the best one yet. Now, I did promise we would have a little word with Bertie, didn't I? Let's see where he is. He's asleep at the moment, as ever. Bertie? 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 Come on, wake up. Hello, look. Tell you what, Bertie, you can have the sensational Sam burger. No. Or you can have one of these. Burger. Chewy stick. Where is he? Oh. Look, fancy the burger now. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a lovely day. And I'll see you for another story next week. Bye-bye.